Well, if you're a fan of the Muay Thai discipline, this guy just might become your favorite fighter on the roster. Real possibility that that's what you see tonight. Just the outstanding Muay Thai kickboxing game that he has really employed all the way en route to the UFC. Outstanding kicks, a lot of knees and elbows, punches from different angles, and any one of those could be fight enders at any given time. Scary proposition for the UFC veteran he draws here tonight. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. All right, so here he is, Mirko Krokop, back for more here tonight. His victims list honestly reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. Vanderlei Silva, Josh Barnett. In 2006, he realized the Pride Openweight Grand Prix champion and perhaps his biggest accomplishment. When you tally up the totals for the UFC Pride, WEC, and Strike Force, no man has more finishes than that one. Mirko Krokop trying to add to that total here tonight. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan! <laughs> This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Tom Fire Kid Duquesne. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, seven losses, and two draws. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Boka. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Effective punch there by Duquesne. Oh, wow! Gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Oh! So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Look at that. He's timing that jab.
Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Nice. Straight right hand, no good. Nasty counter to the body. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Wow! It's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he tagged him. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Block there, the defense is holding up. Wow! Oh! What a leg kick! He's got him right here. Powerful jab. Oh! Wow! Man has his chin been tested early. He's trying to pass here. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to full guard, very nice. Effective punch there by Duquesne Walker. He moves to full guard here. Duquesne was lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swells. Big punch from the bottom. He's now back to half guard. Grabs a hold of the wrist. Looking for Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. He's got that arm locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. That's it. That's it. That's it. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the Octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is called to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Mirko Krokop! So Mirko Krokop adds to his legend here tonight. He has really made a career of not just fighting the big names, but beating some of the biggest names in mixed martial arts. And you can add another signature win to what is a very accomplished and crowded